Hey, so I'm doing my first ever video book review. Um, so this book that I've chosen for this is a book that I finished over the weekend. Um, it was done in two days flat, um, not because it was a great book, but just because I just wanted to get finish it off. And um, the book is First Born by Will Dean. Now I've seen this uh, floating around on Bookstagram and um, it looked pretty interesting uh, but you know what I have been stung twice or thrice by Bookstagram hyped reviews that I kind of went into it with caution uh, but I was quite intrigued with the storyline which I'm going to explain a bit now. So the storyline is about two twins uh, Molly and Katie and uh, they are English twins and uh, surprise 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 they're completely different one is an introvert uh, molly's an introvert katie is an extrovert and um, katie goes to new york city yeah i know cliche um to pursue her education and um so molly stays back with her parents in england and then the, they get a call saying that katie has been murdered and that's when Molly and her family fly out to New York. Um, so, and then Molly's trying to investigate the possible death of her sister. Now, till then, the story is super interesting and she's kind of digging up stuff on, you know, uh, Katie's life. And um, we have all these characters who seem suspicious. And I was like, okay, well, this is doing well. Um, and then the story took off to a direction which uh, is very popular these days with the so-called thriller authors. So basically what they do is they have an entire storyline and you go through your main character's thoughts and everything. And the second half of the story, they just turn around and be like, hey, I'm actually the bad guy and my thoughts don't make any sense at all. But I wasn't even thinking what was written in the book and it does not make any sense to me and I've been seeing a lot of thriller authors doing this you can't write the character's thoughts and then second half of the story say that they weren't thinking that because we literally read that so you need to frame this better and that's the difference between a good thriller and a really bad one like this um, you need to if you're writing mystery or thrillers and I mean it's not like I've published a book but this is what I think if you're writing a mystery or a thriller you need to write it in such a way that the evidence is right there in front of the person but they don't see it because you have so cleverly disguised it in such a way that they don't see it but it's right there in front of them you can't misguide them by you know writing completely different thoughts about the characters and then start finally going like ha huh, they were actually so different i mean it makes no sense so if you are actually planning to read this book i suggest you switch off this at this point because there's spoilers ahead um so yes bye if you're stopping here but for the people who want to listen to the spoilers um one of the biggest uh, bullshit that I've ever heard is that actually Molly, who is the rec reclusive twin who was investigating this, was actually Katie. And then she's the one who murdered her twin sister, which makes no sense. Um, because her twin sister, Molly, was really sad that Katie left and she tried to kill her, but then Katie took over and killed her instead. Like. It makes no sense at all. There is no reason that anyone had to be killed in this book. And by that point, um, I, I didn't care. And then I hate when they every character in the story is uh, made to look super suspicious. There is also this guy who's funding this twin's education. He's made to look suspicious. Again, there's no purpose in these characters. They're just fillers. Um, and we are supposed to believe this whole scenario of... Um, Katie being like, you know, super, uh, whatever, super smart. And all, all her thoughts, none of it make any sense throughout the book. Because you can't be 
thinking that you're Molly and then in the end they're like but actually I'm Katie because in your brain wouldn't you just be like oh I planned this whole thing out but I am Katie you don't turn into Molly inside your brain I mean authors you need to work harder on the storyline it does not work it's not like Gone Girl where she was writing a diary that that was a very different thing and I think a lot of thriller authors are trying to use this where the, a diary is a different thing but when you are explaining your character's thoughts please don't go down this line it's not working for anyone I've read a couple of these this year unfortunately it's the same thing where they, they they're thinking something in their head and then suddenly the second half it turns over not working we need to stop the storyline. Also, can we have more people on social media, on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram, giving genuine reviews for books? Uh, like, uh, I understand you might be getting a free book, but please guys, um, you know, some of us are actually spending money, not me, but there are people who are spending money buying books um, and Come on, like we, th there are a lot of books being published every year and some of them are amazing and some of them are not. And I don't want an amazing book to be lost in the, the in these voices of mediocre books just because mediocre books are being publicized more heavily on social media. We need to let those amazing books be revealed to the world and we can't if all these crappy books are lingering there so sorry will dean you might be an amazing author but this storyline did not work at all and yes i will be reviewing soon the the new one the reese with a spoon book club one uh, wrong place wrong time again the plot seems super cool um fingers crossed on that seriously i do not want another wrong plot okay